throughout history, one question has puzzled humanity more than any other. Why is there something rather than nothing? This deceptively simple query strikes at the very heart of existence itself. Philosophers, theologians, and scientists alike have grappled with this fundamental question, each offering unique perspectives on the nature of reality and the origins of the universe. To truly understand this profound question, we first need to explore what we mean by something and nothing. Something encompasses all of existence, every atom, every star, every thought, and every possibility. On the other hand, nothing is the absence of all that, a concept surprisingly difficult to imagine. After all, if we can conceive of nothing, doesn't that very idea become something? Over time, thinkers from various disciplines have proposed different approaches to this fundamental question. Religious and mythological explanations often involve divine beings or cosmic forces creating the universe from a primordial void. These myths provide frameworks for understanding existence, but also raise questions about the origins and necessity of the divine. If God created the universe, what created God? This line of inquiry can lead to an infinite regress of creators or to the notion of a necessary being, an entity that exists by its very nature and requires no external cause. Ancient philosophers, particularly in the Greek tradition, offered profound insights into the nature of existence, laying the groundwork for later metaphysical inquiries. Take Parmenides, for example. He contended that non-being is inconceivable and that reality must be unchanging and eternal. Then there's Aristotle, who introduced the concept of the unmoved mover. He posited that this mover is necessary for the existence and motion of all things, providing a foundational cause that itself is not caused by anything else. In the modern era, scientific advancements have provided new frameworks for understanding existence blending empirical evidence with philosophical inquiry. The Big Bang theory suggests that the universe began from an extremely hot and highly compressed state and has been expanding ever since. While it describes the evolution of the universe, it doesn't necessarily answer why there is something rather than nothing. Quantum mechanics introduces the idea that particles can spontaneously appear and disappear hinting at the possibility that even a vacuum isn't truly empty. Then there are multiverse theories, which propose that our universe might be one of countless others, each with its own laws of physics. Despite these advancements, no single approach has provided a universally accepted answer to the profound question of existence. As we delve deeper into this question, new perspectives continue to emerge offering fresh ways to think about the nature of reality and existence. One such perspective, which we'll explore in depth, is the axiom of absolute infinity. Absolute infinity proposes a radical solution to the age-old question of why there is something rather than nothing. The axiom suggests that reality, at its most fundamental level, encompasses everything that could possibly exist. When we say everything, we mean literally everything. Every possible universe, every possible state of being, every possible law of physics, encompassing all conceivable forms of existence and non-existence as part of a singular, infinite reality. The axiom of absolute infinity transcends the distinction between something and nothing. In this framework, both being and non-being are merely aspects of a greater, all-encompassing reality. This suggests that the very question, why is there something rather than nothing, might be based on a false dichotomy. Absolute infinity, by its very nature, requires no external cause or explanation. In traditional causal chains, we're always left asking, 
What caused that? The axiom of absolute infinity suggests that this question itself is based on a limited understanding of reality. In an infinitely comprehensive framework, causality as we understand it may be just one of many possible relationships between events or states. The axiom of absolute infinity invites us to reconsider the foundations of logic itself. Traditional logic operates on the principle that every proposition is either true or false. The axiom of absolute infinity allows for the coexistence of seemingly contradictory states, encompassing both being and non-being simultaneously. This aspect of the theory challenges our classical logic and invites us to consider more nuanced, multi-valued logical systems. In such systems, propositions can have more than two truth values, allowing for a more flexible understanding of reality. Consider the famous thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat, which is both alive and dead, until observed. In a multi-valued logic system, the cat's state could have multiple truth values, capturing its complexity without limiting it to binary categories. This approach allows for a more nuanced representation of reality, aligning with the principles of absolute infinity, where contradictory states can coexist. To assess the plausibility of absolute infinity, we can employ Bayesian reasoning, a method of statistical inference that allows us to update our beliefs about a hypothesis as we gather new evidence. The method involves two key components. The first is prior probability, the initial degree of belief in a hypothesis before new evidence is considered. The second is posterior probability, the updated degree of belief after taking new evidence into account. Imagine you have a bag of marbles. You're told it contains either all red marbles or a mix of red and white marbles, but you don't know which. Initially, you might assume there's a 50% chance of each scenario being true. This is your prior probability. Now, you start drawing marbles from the bag. First draw, a red marble. Second draw, another red marble. Third draw, red again. With each draw, you update your belief. After three in a row, you're more confident the bag might contain only red marbles, though you can't be sure there's no mix. This updated belief reflects your posterior probability, shaped by what you've observed so far. Now, let's apply the idea to our understanding of reality. We start with an equal belief in both a finite universe and an infinite one. As our observational tools improve, we uncover a universe far larger than we once thought. Each new discovery updates our beliefs, making the axiom of absolute infinity more plausible. History shows this pattern. Ancient civilizations thought the Earth was the center of a small cosmos. Then, the Copernican Revolution shifted our view, revealing Earth as one planet orbiting the Sun. Modern astronomy expanded this view, showing our solar system is just one of billions in the Milky Way. And the Milky Way itself is but one of countless galaxies scattered across an ever-expanding universe. Today, contemporary theories push the boundaries even further, suggesting that what we perceive as the universe may be one of many others. The axiom of absolute infinity suggests that this process never ends, that the true nature of existence is more all-encompassing than even our most advanced scientific theories can currently describe. One potential objection to the axiom of absolute infinity arises from Occam's razor, a principle advocating for simplicity in explanations. This principle suggests that, given competing theories, the one with fewer assumptions or entities is generally preferred. At first glance, Absolute infinity might seem to violate this principle, due to its postulation of an infinitely complex reality encompassing all possibilities. The traditional question, why is there something rather than nothing, presupposes that nothing 
is the default or simpler state. But is this necessarily true? Absolute infinity, by encompassing all possibilities, eliminates the need for separate explanations for our universe's existence or the origin of something from nothing. In this sense, it could be argued that absolute infinity simplifies the overall picture by providing a unified, all-encompassing framework. The axiom of absolute infinity offers a unique perspective on the age-old question of why there is something rather than nothing. By suggesting that reality encompasses all possibilities, it proposes that the very distinction between something and nothing may be a limited way of thinking about existence. This axiom challenges us to expand our conception of reality and consider the possibility that the ultimate nature of existence may be far grander and more inclusive than we've ever imagined.